All right, the first impression of Mexico when, for anybody in the United States is uh, there's gonna be chickens in the operating room, there's gonna be dirt floors, and the guy's gonna be wearing a big sombrero. And I actually do wear a big sombrero. Um, but the fact is Mexico has a very advanced medical system, technologically up to par with the United States. But the way we provide medicine is very different and it's very efficient, not what is seen in the States. What do I mean by that? Medicine is not personalized in the States. You never get to see your doctor and if you do, you're gonna see him for a couple of minutes. I actually give my patients my cell number. Every single one of them. I've got over 7,000 of uh, patients potentially calling me every day, which they don't, but when they do, I expect it and I receive it with warmth. Um, the other thing I do is I actually sit down with every single one of my patients in their room prior to their surgical procedure and I shoot the breeze with them. I mean, I want them to have confidence in me because I'm their doctor and I'm their doctor for life. They're buying into not only a procedure, they're buying into medical care for life. And as long as I'm alive, I'm going to be there for them. So medicine is very different in the States because, well, basically it's run by a system which, uh, is dependent most of the times on health insurance carriers that are out to take your money. They're not out to provide health. They want to save money on you. They've already charged you. They're businesses. So when you get medical care, they're cutting corners. So even though we may think that the standards in the U.S. are wonderful and the health care is great, it is not. And if you read the polls, 95% of the patients say they've had less than the ideal experience in the United States with their typical health care. Here, the, 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 we're the other way around. I don't care how much it costs, but I want you to be, first of all, safe. I want you to have an effective surgery, um, and I want you to be uh, pleased. I, I want you to be satisfied with the whole experience. Um, and your money goes a longer way down here. Why? Well, we First of all, because again, we're not based on this multi-level healthcare system where everybody has to be involved. It's not defensive medicine. We're not trying to avoid lawsuits or, or defending ourselves. We're actually just treating the patient for what he needs in a compassionate way. I can hold my patient's hand and the patient needs to feel warm. Why? Because that warmth will take them through the difficult spots. It's not easing obviously being obese and it's not easy having surgery. So all these stress levels, so you want somebody to be compassionate with you. So our healthcare system is very different. The way we provide health is very different. And uh, the cost of health is very different. Um, we don't have this system full of red tape uh, where you're actually dealing with the red tape and not dealing with the patient. If a patient needs something down here, a patient needs an EKG, I walk them 10 feet and I perform the EKG, the electrocardiogram. In the US, you gotta send a memo out for the memo uh, that the EKG is required and then you gotta get it approved and then you've got 10 people trying to say, well, is it approved or is it not approved? And you ultimately end up waiting two weeks or whatever to get an EKG. And then you go back to treat the other part. And Many people that are going to be listening to this are going to identify with, yeah, that's what happened to me. Here, you need something, you get it.